And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell and today we're taking a look at Isidore. Sometimes a game just makes you stop and go, wow. Isidore is one of those. When we opened it up, we were like, wow. You know, I didn't know much about it. It's called Isidore School of Magic. Woo, another game about magic. But when we opened it up and looked at the components, it was like, this is a really neat looking game. I mean, Jumbo usually makes some pretty good quality looking games, but this one looks a lot of fun. Now, here's the thing about this game. Uh, it's, it says from 6 to I think it is a kid's game. It looks kind of like a kid's game. So we'll assume that for now, but uh, I don't know. Let's find out. Each player is going to start with their own player board. And on this player board, you're going to have a spell that you'll start with. The spells are going to be fire, rock, and water. And you're trying to get three magical items to win the game. A, some water here, a tooth from a dragon, and a gem from the rock crystal. You get those, you win. So everyone starts in this palace. On your turn, you roll the die. Now, you're going to roll one, two, three, or stars. The stars means you can move wherever you want. Anything else, you can move up to that amount. So if when you move, you're just going to be moving clockwise around this track. If you land here, you'll take one of these ingredients here. Ooh, I got some berries. Or You're going to be needing these ingredients because when you go back here, if you have those ingredients, you can turn them in and take the card that's on the top of the pile. Fantastic. You can go to the market, and if you have silver or gold, there's two markers on the table, you can spend the silver to get the matching ingredient or gold to get the others. You can go to the mine and you take one of these tokens, which will be silver or gold. And then finally, the only, those are the only places to go to. The only other place you can go to is here and you can fight one of these creatures. To do so, you're gonna need at least three spell cards. And then when you have those and you need at least one of the type that you're fighting against, then you're just gonna play rock, paper, scissors against another player where water puts out fire, obviously. Fire uh, melts rock, sure, and rock absorbs water. Yeah, that's thematic. Anyhow, you play those, and if you win, if you're the first person to win two against the monster, then you will get this gem, or water droplet, or tooth. The first person to get all three of those is the winner, and gets this diploma of excellence. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The artwork on the board is really amazing, and these pieces are fantastic. I really like uh, these, fo these pieces here. The different tokens here are very clear and easy to tell from. Each player has a standee, which shows your magician moving around. And these are nice, easy to tell between uh, the, the components for this game. I mean, the board maybe is a bit smaller than I would want, but other than that, everything just looks fantastic. And the player boards are completely unnecessary, but they're just a nice thing to have to use. Now you might be, at the beginning I said I think it's a kid's game, after having played it, I, I think I could definitively say it's not a kid's game. But what I mean by that is that it's also not an adult game. By what I mean, it's not a game. I mean, this thing is all blah, blah. I mean, horribly bad game. I, 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 I'm amazed that this game got published because it's just a slow, random slog. Okay, so first of all, you roll the die. Rolling dice and moving, not a great me mechanism in 2018, but maybe it offers something neat. No, it doesn't. If you roll a three, you can move one, two, or three. If you roll one, you can move one. Ha, 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 ha. You know, if you move a star, you can move anywhere. But the board, the, the track is like five spaces. So the star is really not that big of a deal. But here's the other thing. You're almost always going to just want to move one. Like, I need to get this. I need to go here. It's not like you're trying to zoom around the board. You just keep going in a circle and you want to land on pretty much every space. Get a get a, uh, this. I mean, get one of the ingredients I need. Go get gold or silver. Buy an ingredient I need. Get an ingredient I need. I got the ingredients. Get the spell I need. Repeat, repeat, repeat. I have all the spells I need. Now I'm going to go for randomness part two. I'm going to go up and play a game of rock, paper, scissors. I win. Now I'm one third of the way to winning. I lose. Oh no, I must try it again, having lost one of my spell cards. 
Oh my goodness, it's not fun. You roll dice random, you play rock, paper, scissors random to pick up ingredients, boring. Randomness plus boringness plus really nice components means don't get it. I don't care how pretty it looks. And you say, Tom, it's for kids. Yeah, you know what? There's a lot of games made by a lot of companies for kids that are fantastic and offer really good, meaningful choices. There is no meaningful choices in this game. The rock, paper, scissors is random. The rolling the die, you just say, oh, I don't even care what I roll, I'm moving one space. The getting the ingredients, you're like, yeah, I'll get the ingredients of the thing shown up there. So let's say it's for very little kids, right? Okay, it says six plus, it's for very little kids. They're gonna be frustrated by getting whooped in rock, paper, scissors, or by seeing someone else win the whole, I, no, 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 no. Dice Tower Judgment, no!